Look who I fucking ran into. Guy. Arian Foster. Guy. I think you you were like one of my first uh, 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 like NFL dudes on my on my podcast. Now you started your podcast. You've retired. You're like you you just told me you signed to Mass Appeal as an MC. Yeah. You're like uh, uh, um, you know like you're all like you're like sort of like a, like a uh, um, you know I wouldn't say you're a, a video game nerd, but you're sort of an internet. Getting there. Getting there. But do you play video games? I do now. Yeah. What's your what's your game? I do. Uh, of course, I do like all the like the. 2K and Madden, but like my, my regular, like right now it's like Fortnite, and then um, I'm getting into this joke called um, uh, Ancestors. Okay. So it's like a uh, survival game, and it's basically like you evolve, like you, you're like a... Oh shit. Yeah, it's insane. It's insane. Yeah, it's right. The thing I always like about you is like you've always been an outside the box person, like you're not the conventional football player right. stereotype. Right. You know, and, and, and especially for a running back and shit. Like, you know, running backs are like, you're. I wouldn't say you're a nerd, but you're kind of a, like a nerd. Yeah, nerds are cool as shit, man. But you were a motherfucking bruiser when you played. Like, That's you right. wouldn't think of that in terms of, you know. But let me just get to this. So, I saw, well, first of all, you fuck with basketball? Yeah. Okay. Tomorrow the NBA training camp starts, if you could believe really? that. Really? Wow. First of all, my breath stink. No, you you money. Okay, cool. Because if it, I feel close enough to you, like I'm I feel check, like I'm gonna check you out and not you even can, notice it. But if it does, all right, just out. say something about it. <clears throat> Mybookie.ag. That's who sponsored this this actual Twitch stream. If you were to predict everything we know today, which is you know everybody's healthy, everybody's good. We know who's injured, Kevin Durant. <clears throat> we know the Lakers. We know the rosters. We know the trades. There's no more secrets. There's no more rumors. If you were going to pick today the two teams that were going to come out in the finals 2020, which is an election year, <laughs> but we're not going to go down that road. Although, no. although mybookie.ag, I, 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 they place bets on that. Like, oh, really? Yes. Holy shit. Yo, you could bet on anything. That's insane. You could bet on anything. What's the, what's the, what's the, uh, <laughs> what's the over under? Right over-under. now, Trump is, like, I was going to bet uh, up until the whistleblower. I was going to bet, and I, you know I don't want it. Yeah. But if I'm betting, I was going to bet. Five hundred dollars that Trump won, but now I'm waiting till the whistleblower thing. Yeah, um, if if he's if he's clear, <coughs> if he, I would say he would win. I mean, I don't want him to. Me neither. No, so, I'm saying just yeah, betting. Yeah, I would say he was going. If he if he if he gets out of this whistleblowing shit, yeah, Democrats are dropping the ball. Uh, they they don't want to play ball with in, in the same league that, that he is. Uh, and so yeah, I don't see it happening. I agree. Um, all right. But if you, Arian Foster, the day before NBA training camp started, had to bet who would be the two teams in the finals and who would win the finals, based on everything we know today, Aaron Foster, who used to run through, run past, get in the end zone, and then... All right, I'll go with... That's tough, man. Come on, Arian. It's the day before training camp. You haven't figured this out yet? Right? <laughs> you, haven't, you haven't ran the numbers, crunched the numbers and shit? Milwaukee's in the east. In the east. I'm gonna go. That's tough. I'm gonna go Lakers and Milwaukee. You know, everybody's been saying that. You're and you're you're, you're from Texas, right? I grew up in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Okay, so you're not high like school, a, high school in San Diego. So. Okay, so are you just doing this because you're a homer? No, you're no, trying no, to no. win. No, I was, I'm, I'm betting. I'm okay. Money on line. You're everybody's crazy. saying the Lakers. I, you know, I don't want the Lakers, Arian, but That's I. That's crazy. Today. I would bet the Lakers versus the Sixers, and I would say the Lakers won today. Hey, Sixers a, are going to be a problem too. Somebody that had like the glitz when he shot. What's his He's name? in Orlando, Markel okay, Fultz. Okay, okay, okay. But yo, they got no disrespect. No, no disrespect. No, 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 we're, we're here to win. There's no feelings yeah, in this, Markel. I want to see you thrive. No, I, I, that, that was one of the wildest. Crazy. What do you think? As an athlete, I mean, if it wasn't an injury, have you ever like seen anybody like in any position like seen, have like a mental block like people, that? I've seen people lose confidence. Like and, you and literally it, see it, it derails their career. Yeah, and I mean, not to that extent to where it changes the way they do things. But I mean, I guess it, in essence it does. But it's just one of those things where it's it's hard to it's hard to express unless you walk that path. And I have where like some people like the like the mental aspect of. Every, I mean, just imagine coming from nothing, man, and all of a sudden you have millions of dollars, and you're supposed to be a savvy businessman, and you're supposed to be politically correct, and you're supposed to be a role model. And it's be on a schedule. And not only that, you're doing it in a fishbowl. 
and you do it in front of everybody. I, I, I get it. And you're a kid, man. Like, cause like, I'm, I'm 33, and so like, I still feel like I'm a young, I'm right. young. Like the people that all oh, man, you old for football or whatever the case may be. Like, no, I don't pay attention to that shit. Like, for football, you're old. I'm, I'm young. Real life, you're a child. I'm young, bro, and I am, and I'm, I'm enjoying my youth right now because my body's feeling good, my mind is good, so like, I'm enjoying my youth. Um, but like, as a 20 year old, you're really young. And so you have. You're, when have, you're 20, you're fucking, especially a guy, yeah. you are dumb as shit. Facts. I mean, you are. And all of us. Well, you, just, you don't know who you are. And so you have to figure yourself out in a fishbowl with all those extra influence. It's just, it's just tough to do it, and that breaks people mentally. And so I don't know his specific case. Right. But it wouldn't surprise me if that, had, if that was an element of I agree. It's, it's tough. Man. Too much pressure. Yeah. Um, all right, I'm going to ask you these NFL games, but real quick, how much football do you even involve yourself in now? Like, do you watch it as a fan? Do you, because you played, like, I'm, you can't, do you root for the Texans? Like, wh- like, where's your head at as far as, like, a fan of football now and a former player? Yeah, a right. former beast fucking player. All right, what's up, what's up? No, so, um, I didn't, I didn't really watch anything, like, two for two years. I just got, stayed away from it. I had enough. It's like, um, it's like an ex-girlfriend that you still love, but, um. She's fucking somebody else now. I got you. <laughs> no, I got you. That makes but, sense. Um, but um, there comes a time where you mentally accept where everything, how things have transpired. And so you accept the fact that you can no longer play this game at the level that, 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 that needs to be played at. Uh, you, you mentally accept that there are guys that are younger, better, faster than you. Um, because that's a fight. You're like, I'm, I'm better than I know what I can do. But like, it's, it's, it's over. It's over, man. So I, I, I'm, I was happy with that place. I'm happy with who I want to become, who I'm going right. to become. Um, and so I got a chance to, uh, what really brought me back was, uh, ironically enough, uh, fantasy football. You know what I'm saying? I remember, yeah, I remember when, I, when you were still playing and I just asked you about fantasy. Because you had made some comments, I think, about it. You were like, I'm, you, were, you, you were not indulging me. You, I was like, you know what, you didn't give me... Sh- do you understand now why... Do you understand why now, why it's so fun for fans? I wasn't... I was and see, this was like... That's funny. When, when, we was at, when, we was at, when we was at the beginning of our career, my generation, social media was the baby. Right. It was just on, like, you had a following and you're trying to be politically correct, you're selling ads. You don't really understand what it is. And so I didn't have the foresight back then to see how big it could become and how it grew the sport. Right, and, and you so, were in it. And so if I, and I was you're one just of the main like, guys. You know, you're on my team, yeah, you fucked up. I was up. one of the main guys. So it was like me, like the, like the running backs of my generation. So like me, Jamal Charles, Adrian Pearson, Marshawn Lynch, Sean McCoy. So like we were like the like the beginning of the social media of like, like the dudes. That, that is so funny. And so I just didn't have the, I just didn't have the foresight. And if I did have the foresight, I would have, I would have embraced I it. I got you. Not only would I have embraced it, I would have capitalized I got way more than Right, I right, right. I yeah. got you. I just didn't know. You I know got you. Nobody, no. Nobody can predict that. And you got people tweeting you, you fucked my team yeah. up. And you're like, and so my... I was looking at it from like a humanitarian standpoint. I got you. Standpoint. I got you. Like, that is so people. funny. Yeah, yeah, it's wild. That's so, funny. So I, st- so I got a, I got a fantasy team and. Uh, you have a fantasy team Yeah, now? yeah, I'm in, I'm, in, I'm in three leagues right now. Yo, what the fuck yeah, is happening to you? Hold on, aren't you in the league with Joe Button? Yes. See, I was like, yo, let's let's do a fantasy league. It was like, give me an email. I never heard back from him. So that's the kind of relationship I have with Joe. Joe Button. But anyway, no, 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 that's what I mean. No, no, don't let him go. You, Joe Button's the third best rapper in the world. You saw the list. <laughs> The Joe, hey, come on, the man, listen, hold on, we gonna go there. The third best rapper in the world, he can listen, take it. Rap is such a subjective thing. Listen, there's nothing subjective about putting Joe Button as the third best rapper in the world. Disagree. And I love Joe. I disagree. He's not, he's not in my top three, but I disagree because, like, if you listen to his m- move music. No, he's talented. He can spit. He can spit. I'm not saying he's not good. Because but I, I look at it like this. If you can spit, if, if, if it comes to a consensus, like, if you listen to my music and as a, as, as a writer, you listen to me like, yo, he can write. At that point, it becomes preference. I, you know but the saying? third best it's ever. Preference. It's preference. All like, right. Like, I, I told him to his face, Joe. No, he 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 admitted third best ever, ever the third best rapper ever, Joey fucking Butt. Joe, I'll tell you to your face. I'll tell you over over Twitch, and and I'll text it to you. That's my guy. That's my fucking it's guy. Just, this is the preference. I, I'm like, if you can, if you can, because like there's some people who's like, and and even if, even if it gets even deeper, right? Because like nowadays, a lot of rappers come out like. Rapping off beat is a thing, right? And so that used to be a requirement, and it's not anymore. You mean being on the beat? But 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 I I, I let my ego go because like it's not for me, right? And so like people dig that though. So like what I'm saying is like in my opinion is like if you can go, it becomes preference. So like if somebody feels like Joey touched him at the top three, like that's that. That's not. I got you, man. All right, because I I I gotta take this this call in a minute. Yeah, do that. Okay. 
Who well, are you supposed to? I just, I just walked this up. This is fantastic. Like, oh, I mean, this is like a whole lot. I love this <laughs> shit. Um, um, all right. Okay. First of all, I'm going to do the picks. Deshaun Watson, uh, how good is he? I think he has a possibility to be great. But if, if they don't figure out a way to protect him, and, and he needs to... That's brutal. He, he needs to understand to get rid of the ball because, like, all these players are real flashy. They're fun to watch. But if you look at a Mike Vick, if you look at it, like all of these things, I mean, the template is there, man, and guys are just getting more, they're getting faster, they're getting bigger, they're getting stronger. So, like, just throw it away, man. Them, them, them four yards in a highlight reel is not going to prolong it. You got to get rid of the ball. Get, get rid of it, let it go. Either run because or get rid of it. Because he has a rare tool to see the field. He has a rare tool to, to have the arm to get the throws there. So he's a, he's a generational talent. But uh, it's on the front office to protect him, and it's on himself to understand he's... Like, I, I remember there was a pivotal point in my career where I understood, like, yo, instead of taking that hit, just go step out of bounds. And they can talk all the shit they want about, oh, he's not this, he's not that. But, like, that three that three extra yards is like, it'll save your body a little more. You have to do you it. Save your body. All right, let me just do one pick, because I can't stand the, the, the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> I mean, because they're Cleveland anyway. Why, why you got a problem with Cleveland? It's, just, it's always been. It's like you're Cleveland. And then you got this guy, Cleveland Browns versus another quarterback. He's my fantasy quarterback, Lamar Jackson. They're playing this week. I got him in the league. I got him, yeah. I got him. How, how sick is Lamar? It's insane. Yeah, he's insane. Who's winning that game this week? Just straight up, forget fantasy. Who's winning this game? Uh, Cleveland versus uh, Baltimore. Actually, yeah, Baltimore, man. Me too. Um, they're playing really well. They're playing with confidence. Um, uh, I think Lamar Jackson is coming into his own. And he just, he just, he's coming off a game uh, for the Chiefs. Yeah. Where, like, it's like, Mahomes, to me, is probably the best quarterback in the league right now. He's playing out of his mind. He's sick. And uh, Lamar got a chance to see how to operate in that, like, fly, right? And so that changes you. And it's like, he's really good off the fly, but when you see the quarterback, because, like, what I remember who we played, I think it was the Minnesota, right, 2012. And even though like I was like I had led the league in Russia and I was one of the top backs in the league, when I when we was playing Adrian Peterson, I'm watching. You know what I'm saying? I'm watching because I respect the game and I respect his craft. Lamar was watching. And like you understand that there's another level that you can get to. And so um, anyway, he's he's playing really good, man. And what do you remember about that when you watch Adrian from that 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 time? Right. Like what 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 did you remember like that you were like, oh shit. Um just impressed with at that moment. Well, because you live in your own world as an athlete and Think you're the shit, and you have to think like that. But what you, what I, what I got from it was like, what you realize is, like, yo, that that man demands respect as well, and, and it, hum- it humbled me in a way. It's like, yo, you're not, you didn't arrive. There's always another place to get to. And there's always a, a, a new you that you can break through. And I so got you. That, that, that helped me humble myself. This is what a fucking pleasant surprise. Arian Foster, TwitchCon 2019. He just, he's, he's down here dolo. Dolo, dolo. 